Hello everyone. Let's prepare this kind of creative PPT. Take a blank slide, right click and select format background. Click on gradient fill, make it three gradient stops. Choose dark gray for the first and third gradient stop and light gray color for the second gradient stop. Increase the transparency to 21 percentage. Now from the shapes tab select delay shape from the flowchart icon and place it on the slide adjust the width and height to 2 go to rotate and select rotate right 90 degree place it downwards now go to shape outline and select no outline take an oval shape and insert above the delay flowchart adjust it with the width of the shape now move it apart and duplicate another one using control d take a rectangle and place it on the oval shape make sure the rectangle will cover only the half portion of the oval shape now select both the shapes go to merge shape and choose union go to shape outline and select no outline now place and adjust the duplicated oval shape Click on the oval shape, go to shape outline and choose white color. Select the shapes together and press control G to group it. As of now, give any color to it and place it on the delay shape. Now click on this shape, go to gradient fill, choose black color for first, second and third gradient stop. For the second gradient stop, increase the transparency to 13 percentage. Go to directions and select linear right now select this particular shape and choose tan color or off white color for the first second and third gradient stop now click on the oval shape go to color option and select eye dropper and place it on the area where you want the same color as of delay shape and that is black color now select the shapes together and press control g Go to Shapes tab and select an oval shape and place it on this particular area. Make sure you will leave little space on both corner sides. Adjust something like this. Now take a rectangle shape and place it on the oval shape, touching only the half portion. Select the oval shape, hold Control key and then select the rectangle. Go to Merge shape and choose Union. then go to shape outline and choose no outline insert an oval shape go to shapes outline and choose white color now select the rectangle shape go to gradient fill and choose red color for the first second and third gradient stop select the oval shape choose eye dropper from the colors tab and place it on the black oval area as we need the same color to be followed Select both the shapes together and press control G. Duplicate this shape and place it above. Reduce the size little bit. Go to gradient fill and give yellow color for the first, second and third gradient stops. Again duplicate, place it above and reduce its shape. Give dark blue color to this shape. Now duplicate, reduce its shape and place it above. Go to gradient fill and choose orange color for the first, second, and third gradient stop. Now insert a rectangle shape. Stretch it little longer. Now place an isosceles triangle at the end. Hold the orange button and place it like this. Select both and choose union from merge shapes tab. Go to shape outline and choose no outline. Right click and send to back. Go to solid fill and select orange color. Now duplicate the shape using Control D. Place it below and change its color to dark blue. Again duplicate two times and change the color to yellow and red. Select the shapes together by holding the Control key. Right click and send to back. Draw a text box and type alphabet A on this particular shape. Make it bold. Choose Arial Black. Select font size forty four and font color white. Duplicate the shape and place it above. Change it to alphabet B and give black color. In the same way, change the alphabets to C and D and change the colors accordingly.
Now click on this particular shape. Go to shape effect. Select B level and choose round. In the same way, do it for the other shapes as well. Draw a text box and give a title to the presentation. Now draw another text box on the rectangle and type the content in all the shapes. To make a shadow, draw an oval shape below and go to shape outline, select no outline, shape fill, gray color. Go to shape effect, click on soft edges and increase the size to 4 points. Select the oval shape, right click and send to back. Now click on this particular shape, go to animation and select wipe option. Select the title, choose split animation, go to start and select with previous, delay, make it 50 seconds. Now select the shape above, choose wipe animation, select after previous, choose alphabet A, split animation, select with previous and delay 50 seconds. Now select the long rectangle, go to animation and click on more entrance effects. Choose stretch under moderate effect option, then click on OK. Go to effect option and choose from left. Select start after previous and delay 50 seconds. Select the content and choose split animation, start after previous and delay 50 seconds. In the same way, apply the same kind of animation of all the above shapes. You can use animation painter uh, to save time. So just click on the previous animated shape, choose animation painter and click on the shape where you want to give the animation. Once everything is animated, click on the slideshow to see the results. If you found this video useful and informative, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.